Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 2006 Gulfstream BT Touring Cruiser, model number 5291. Folks, this is a Class B Plus motorhome, probably one of the hardest to find type motorhomes on the market. Uh, let me tell you why, folks, because these are so easy to drive. If you can drive a full size van, you can drive this motor home without any problem. It's 30 feet, 6 inches long. It's the biggest BT cruiser that Gulfstream made in 2006. It's only got 16,800 miles on it, folks. This motor home is absolutely like new. But I'm going to tell you, it is priced $13,000 under book value. And I'll get to that here in a minute. First of all, you're going to notice a beautiful full body paint. That's a very expensive upgrade when you buy one of these things new to get the paint over one that's just white. It's got three slide outs. Uh, both of them over here have awning toppers. This one over here doesn't. Let me tell you why. Uh, Goldstream started doing this in their slide outs. Notice the slope slide out. That way the water runs away from the motor home so you really don't need an awning topper on this one. It's got a large patio awning. It's built on a Super Duty Ford 450 chassis. So it's got the wider wheelbase for greater driving stability and less sway. It's got a powerful 6.8 liter Triton V10. It's 305 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. Folks, this thing's got more horsepower than most diesels have and more than enough to get you up the road, merging on today's busy highways and interstates and even uh, going up mountains. Even if you tow a car or a trailer behind you, you're not going to have any problem on the power department. And because this is a B plus, it's a low profile, it's aerodynamic, this is going to get you a lot better fuel mileage than a Class A or a Class C will. Uh, like I said folks, three slide outs, tinted windows, full body paint. This thing is just a gorgeous looking motorhome. 16,800 miles. It's got the own end generator with very low hours. Tires look great. And it's got all kinds of options. I mean, it's got everything a big 40 footer's got just shrunk down. Double power steps. DSI water heater. Notice the overlapping cap that eliminates straight edges where most leaks occur. And that's only found on higher end. Motorhomes. Folks, this thing was over $80,000 new, and it's only got 16,000 miles. So I've got it for almost half price with 16,000 miles. Heavy-duty trailer tow pack, rear roof access ladder. It's got the rear view camera system. I mean, just looks great no matter what angle you look at it. No delamination at all. Uh, overlapping roof. It's got the vent mate vent covers on top, outside auxiliary shower, I mean we haven't even washed this RV yet folks, but look how slick that finish is, I mean this is something that's going to look good for years, I mean how would you like to go to a new Gulfstream dealer and pay over $80,000, and that's not counting all these fees and taxes they charge you, drive it off the lot, drive by a lot like us and see one just like the one you purchased for half price was 16,000 miles. I don't know about you, but that would make me sick. So like I said, folks, the previous owner lost enough on this RV almost to buy it. and only used it for 16,000 miles. So just a great buy on a nice high-end, high-quality Class B Plus motorhome. Let's take a look inside this RV. You're going to love the interior of it. I mean, it's only 30 foot, 6 inches long, but I'm going to tell you, it's got a lot of floor space, a lot of room in here for a small motorhome. You know, these aren't as wide as a Class A and have a lot of room. Let's start up here in the front cab. You've got power captain's chairs. They're both leather, both in excellent condition. Real, it's got that real soft leather, so this is something, you know, if you're going to drive several hundred miles a day, this is something that's going to be very comfortable for you. Power windows and locks. It's got the heated power mirrors. Uh, 16,800 miles, ice cold dash air, tilt cruise. It's got the nice wood grain package, cup holders, uh, CD stereo. Everything works great in here, folks. There's no smoke, no pet odors. And, of course, we show you everything works in this RV. Windshield's perfect. Windows work perfectly. Uh, 
I mean, it's just a good looking camper. Notice they've got the dash cover over it and everything. The dash looks like new underneath that cover. But the people cared enough about it to put that in it to keep the sun from damaging the dash. Uh, this thing's been garage kept. Uh, you can tell that from the exterior. It's not been out in the weather. I mean, this is just a good looking motorhome. It's got the sculptured carpet. It looks like new. Uh, above the cab, like most B classes, you have the TV. It's got the surround sound, DVD player. Uh, all the goodies are up there. They're included with it. Hardwood upgrade cabinetry. Leather sleeper sofa. Makes a bed. Now, this is actually a queen size pull out sleeper sofa. So, this will actually sleep two adults very comfortably. Uh, directly across from that, you've got the table booth that makes a bed. It's got the overhead skylights that lets in a lot of natural sunlight in here. Um, got the day-night shades and all the windows. You may have noticed that. Look at the floor space in here. You see these triple slides really open this RV up. Look here at the kitchen area. You've got genuine Corian countertops. Pick this up. There's your cooktop. It's got some paper on it to keep it from rattling going down the road. You've got the sink, double stainless sink. It's got the on countertop covers, overhead storage, it's got the nice light fixtures, it even has a padded headliner, this right here really helps with the insulation, and it also reduces road noise and outside noise is what it's designed to do, but uh, really a nice feature to have that padded headliner. If you drive one with it and one without it, you can tell the difference just like that. I mean, it just really makes a big difference. Two-way RV refrigerator freezer. Folks, notice the nice trim work in here. I mean, the crown molding, they really go all out on these BT cruisers. Like I said, these things are $80,000 new, so it's going to have a lot of nice features. Uh, the nice woodwork around the slide out. Etched glass front, or the, excuse me, the glass front cabinets, all hardwood cabinets. Uh, of course, you got your microwave confection oven. So you've actually got an electric oven in here. The generator runs perfectly, folks. It's just a nice RV. It's got fluorescent lighting throughout the entire motorhome. Uh, we're going to walk toward the back. Got a very nice size bedroom. Look at all the storage at the foot of the bed. It's got a flat screen TV, queen island bed, premium mattress. I mean, looks great. All this is in a slide out. Got a glass in upgrade, glass in shower. It's got the skylight. You got your command center right here. Monitor panel, water heater, everything's right here. Uh, private water closet, sink, medicine cabinet, all the goodies in here. The RV toilet, vent fan. This RV can sleep up to six people. And like I said, folks, 30 feet, six inches long. This is an easy size to drive. If you're like me, you like going to parks, uh, state parks, you like going to older campgrounds, uh, this is an ideal size for that because, you know, a lot of these state parks and campground, older campgrounds don't have facilities for motorhomes over about 32, 33 feet long. So this is one that gives you plenty of room, but is a breeze to drive and easy to park. Like I said, if you can drive a full-size van, you can drive this motorhome expertly without any problem. Very easy to drive. It's going to get better fuel mileage because of the shape and the size. And I'm going to tell you, folks, it, it's just a beautiful motorhome. I wish I had a lot full of these things, but as many of B, as many of you B-class shoppers know, these things don't come on the market very often, and they sell quick. And it's I'm going to tell you something that's rare too that I've noticed about these little motorhomes because these are so easy to use. People tend to put more miles on these RVs than they do a big Class A or a big Class C because they're so easy to drive. So you don't see many of these with only 16,000 miles, but here's one right here. And it's even even just about impossible to find one with 16,000 miles for $13,000 under book. But here it is right here, folks. I've got the current NADA. I just pulled it myself. Conquest 5291 Ford. Uh, base book with the miles. I mean, you can see for yourself right there, folks. It's almost forty-seven thousand dollars, and that's just base book. That's no options. You know, the full body paint when you buy these new is an option. That's that's several thousand dollars. Uh, the cabinetry upgrade, the awnings for the slide out are options. 
along with several others in here, you add for those options, which is what you're supposed to do, according to NADA, uh, $75,000 is what this RV costs new. That's without the full body paint. That's without the uh, all the TVs in here, the, all the options. That's just a base price new is $75,000. That's when I say it's over $80,000. It's probably about $85,000 new, and that's in 2006, not 2014. Folks, right here it is. Book value, $45,897 is low retail and $55,292. Folks, I've got this RV for $42,900. I've got a 16,000-mile triple slide class B-plus motorhome in light new condition for $3,000 under NADA low retail. And if you read the fine print in the NADA, low retail vehicles have excessive mileage. They have extensive wear and tear and require a lot of refurbishment cost. And low retail vehicles are usually not found on dealer lots. In fact, uh, the, for years in the RV industry, low retail has always been considered the for sale by owner price. Folks, I've got this RV priced thousands under for sale by owner price. Dealer price is $55,292. That's what most dealerships would ask for this motorhome on their lot. I don't know if you can see it backwards or not, folks, but $42,900 is the price on it. Find another one any cheaper with lower mileage, you're not going to find it. This is the best buy on a BT Cruiser on the internet. 16,000 miles, three slide outs, $13,000 under book. And folks, uh, today's Monday. I doubt this one will make it to Friday. So if you see this RV, if you see this video, you see it on Craigslist, eBay, RV Trader, our website, whatever. Call us right away because this is going to go to the first serious buyer to look at it because a 16,000 mile Class B motorhome of $13,000 under book in this nice condition, folks, this is not something that goes on the market every day. I mean, this is going to make somebody a super deal and it's going to sell fast. Uh, so give us a call if you see this ad as soon as possible if you're interested. 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can reach us at 423-605-6747. And I'm just going to give you a, hint, a little bit of advice, folks. Uh, we sell all over the country. I mean, I, thousands of people are going to see this advertisement. Uh, hundreds of people are going to watch this video, if not thousands. Uh, be prepared to leave a deposit when you call. Because you can see for yourself the proofs right here in black and white that this is a killer buy. You've seen the video. You've seen the condition. We guarantee everything to work on this RV, and you've seen the condition from the video. Uh, folks, if you have to think about it, if you if you want to think about it a couple of days, I can understand that. And believe me, I'm not trying to pressure you. But jewels like this don't come on the market every day, because if it would, I would have my lot full of them. I mean, I'd have 100 plus of these out here if I could find them. They're hard to find, so be prepared to move quickly on this RV because you're not the only, trust me, you're by far not the only serious buyer looking at this RV. People are looking at this RV all over the country. People will come from all over the United States to save money on a good deal on a nice, clean, low-mileage RV. I see it every single week, folks. I'm talking about, I sell stuff to California at least once or twice a month. Uh, Canada, seems about every week I sell one or two to Canada. With our prices, folks, it's not just a local market anymore. It's a nationwide market for motorhomes. And there are thousands and tens of thousands of buyers out there. And chances are several of them is going to be looking at this RV and planning to purchase it. So please, 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 if you, if you, if you call us, say you're going to come down in a day or two and you get down here and it's sold, please don't get mad at us because I warned you, uh, these things with our prices and how clean they are in 16,000 miles, it's not going to last long. So please give us a call. Uh, drop us an email. You can also visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.net. Over 100 quality used RVs. <clears throat> and folks, you can tell from the NADA, you can't touch our prices. Let me tell you something else about us too, folks. We're a 46-year-old family-owned and operated RV dealership. We're not a franchise dealership. We don't sell new RVs. We sell nothing but used. I've got about a, I've got over 100 to stock. Used RVs, and they're all priced way under book. 
and people just like you come thousands of miles every week to purchase RVs from us because we save you a lot of money. Not only are our prices lower, but you know, you go to these other big dealerships, they charge you $2,000, up to $2,000 in dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees, uh, uh, get ready fees, tag and title fees. Folks, not only are you paying thousands of dollars less for our RVs over the other guys, but we do not charge you a dime in extra fees. Uh, you pay sales tax if you're Georgia, what they call TAVT tax if you're a Georgia buyer. Uh, of course, you pay your sales tax in your own state when you register this RV. But folks, we charge you no extra fees. We do. We can offer financing with rates as low as 2% because we don't mark interest rates up like the other dealerships do. Folks, uh, marking interest rates up is a major source of revenue for most RV dealerships and the finance manager. That's strictly how he or she gets paid is they'll get you approved at 2 and 3% just like we do, but they mark the interest rate up to 8 or 9% because that's how they get paid. They get a kickback off that. That's the only way they get paid. So, of course, they're going to try to get you for every dime they can. Folks, not here. We do several deals a week, 2% interest rate through a local credit union with approved credit. And that's because, folks, we offer financing as a courtesy, not as a way to make money. Uh, we also have long terms available. If you want 10, 12, even 15 years, if you've got good credit, you can get this RV for a long term. Uh, rates a little bit higher when you go longer terms, but you're still 5 6% with approved credit, if not lower. No down payments required. Why? Because the book value. When you're $13,000 under book, why do you need to put money down? You can if you want to lower your payment. But, uh, uh, folks, most RV dealerships price their stuff under over book value, so that's why they have to have a down payment because you have to pay the difference between the book value and what you're paying for the RV. Obviously, with this one, it's not the case because this is the same NADA that I send to my finance companies. So, low rate financing, no fees, the lowest prices in the country, a 46 year old third generation family owned and operated RV dealership. Folks, you can see why we've been in business this long. We sell 20% of our RVs every week due to our low prices, clean RVs. And folks, we just tell it to you like it is. Uh, you're not going to beat the deal. You get here, uh, you can search any dealership in the United States. I kill their prices. You notice that I always advertise my prices where other dealers don't because they want to maximize their profits. So, of course, they want you to call where they can have some slick-talking RV salesperson that talk you into paying thousands more than the RV's worth because they get commission. Folks, my RV salesmen don't get commission. I let the RVs sell themselves to my salespeople. All they do is do the paperwork, write you up, collect the money, and go over the RV with you. That's, that's all my salespeople do, and they're on salary. So give us a call, drop us an email, come visit us in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. This one's not going to last long. I know this was kind of a long video, folks, and thank you for watching, but I had a lot to go over on this RV. I had a lot of uh, issues to go over with you, and I hope I answered your questions. You can call me. I'm not in sales, but you're welcome to call me directly. My name's Big Bo. I'll answer any questions you have, or you can talk to anybody else here. We all work together. Like I said, nobody makes commission here, so we all help each other out. So give us a call, drop us an email, or better yet, come on in and see us in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Thank you for watching.